Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been really busy with a couple things, but I thought I would like to share with you my five top complimented scents or perfumes that I like to wear. Over the past few years, I've noticed because I'm not working at a dental office anymore, I'm able to wear my perfumes a bit more and I've definitely invested in a few new ones. And there tends to be a handful that really always get me a lot of compliments. And these range in price points from $42 Canadian up to $425 which I know is insane for a perfume. But uh, before anyone writes any comments, perfume is something I don't mind spending my money on. Um, it really makes me happy. And I really like to have uh, quite a few different perfumes depending on my mood. I just almost feel like it's an accessory when you get dressed. All these different perfumes make me feel a certain type of way. A couple of them are definitely more affordable. And then there's a few that are definitely more investment pieces, but in my opinion, they're worth it to smell unique. Okay, so let's get into my five top complimented scents. Keep that in mind because they're actually not my top five favorite perfumes I own. A few of them are, but these are just what I get the most compliments on. So I'll start from the most expensive down to the most affordable. And spoiler alert, the most affordable one I think in my lifetime has actually got me the most compliments. So the newest one to my collection, but I've actually got a lot of compliments. And at the moment, this is definitely by far my favorite perfume. Unfortunately, it's very expensive. This is, and I can't really pronounce um, the last name, so I'll just say Maison Francis. I'll put it up on the screen. It's the Baccarat Rouge 540. And I will say there is a dark red bottle and the clear one. I've tried both of them. I personally don't like the dark red bottle. This one smells the best to me and on my skin. I think this was going a little bit viral just because it is such, you know, a well-loved scent by a lot of people, but it is super expensive. So I got this in California. I believe it was $300 US, but here in Canada, it's about $425 Canadian for the smaller bottle. It's 800 and something for the bigger bottle. I actually did save a little bit of money buying it in California, not a lot, um, but I personally like buying scents when I go on vacation. That way when I smell this, I'm always gonna remember our trip to California, which we had a really fun time. So I'll read you the description of it. Sometimes I don't really agree with the descriptions of perfume, but this one I do. So it says luminous and sophisticated. This perfume lays on the skin like an amber floral and woody breeze, a graphic and highly condensed signature. The fragrance notes are jasmine, saffron, cedarwood, ambergris, and it's made in France. And this honestly just makes me feel rich and powerful. I love it. So I would always try to smell this at Holt Renfrew here in Toronto where the tester was always empty. So finally in California, I got to smell it. And you know what? I did recognize the scent because I have smelled people that walk by me that obviously had this on and I remembered it. And I just like, I had to have it. I was really a little bit iffy about buying it due to the price, but I justified it because I didn't buy anything else on the trip besides food or, you know, just little like home goods products. But um, yeah, so that's why I did get it. I am not disappointed at all. Sometimes you spend a lot of money and then you kind of regret it. I love this. I love it, love it, love it so much. I would highly recommend it. Okay, so next up is by Memo Paris, and this is the French leather perfume. I have tried a lot of them um, just because I one time placed an order online from this company and they messed up the order. So they sent me a sample, a little sample of like almost every perfume they have. And this is definitely my favorite. Again, this is pretty pricey. You can sometimes find these online, um, say if like Essence is having a sale or some of those fragrance, those discounted fragrance houses, you'll save a little bit. But the regular price for this is 360 Canadian. You do get a fair amount. And this also actually comes in smaller little vials as well. So keep that in mind if you just wanna test it out. The smaller ones are definitely more affordable. That's um, how I first found this out. I bought this, I think one time, when I went to New York City so it kind of reminds me of there I really like it and I'll read you the description with its lime and rose essences and its suede accord evoking the inside of a handbag this scent signs the adventure of a French rose the one that makes your eyes shine French leather is a fragrance that owns the senses as all worthy Parisian women should do and I do agree it kind of smells a little bit leathery 
and rose and it's funny i always thought i've said this in another video i always thought i didn't like rose scented perfumes i think because i always thought there's something in my grandma's washroom growing up like some product she used it was rose scented and i just kind of associated it with like older women i didn't like it but i actually have quite a few rose scented perfumes that i love so i actually think i i do really like the rose notes and Again, this is kind of just like a rich, unique smell. Um, I think this would be better suited for warmer weather months. Yeah, definitely spring and summer, hot days. To be honest, yeah, like a hot day in Paris for sure. Both of these, every time I spray this, my fiance says, oh my God, it smells good in here. And um, this one as well, like this, he agrees. This is the best smelling one. Um, it's just very expensive. I like the bottle too, because when you look at it from the inside, there's a chandelier there. Okay, next up, I actually am out of this perfume, but I have lots of the other ones. So it's from Byredo. So this is definitely, overall, this is my favorite brand for perfume in general, just because I like so many of his fragrances. If you're new to this brand, um, you might recognize some of the bottles. I find them very aesthetically pleasing. They look nice when they're displayed. I like that it's just black and white and clear. And basically all of his scents are supposed to evoke a certain memory. So the one that I get the most compliments on, and I believe is one of their top sellers, is the Bal d'Afrique. And so I will just read you the description of it. It retails for 265 Canadian, but again, they a lot of the time they'll go on sale on Essence or around Christmas time, Holt Renfrew. Definitely, this is a brand if you're traveling throughout the world. Make note, I believe one year we were in Tokyo and I basically got two for the price of one due to the conversion. So the price of these definitely fluctuates. So if you are planning a trip, do a little research. I'm pretty good with all my things that are more expensive. I know like if I can get it cheaper and we have a trip planned, I'll wait, I'll hold off till there, I'll wait till it goes on sale, all that sort of thing. So definitely this is something you can get a bit of a deal on if you're smart. So the Balda Afrique. So this is supposed to be the, the creator's love letter to Africa, wanting to sum up and celebrate the reach and influence of Africa throughout time particular the way its myriad cultures have shaped dance, art, and music. And the top notes are African marigold and buchu, which I'm not really sure what that is. That doesn't really help you at all. It is just a beautiful, it's definitely a summery scent. You can wear it year round. It's not too overpowering. It definitely would be suitable for a male or female. It's just, oh my God, it is so, so good. That one, when I wear that, when like, if I get into an elevator or like an Uber, I've got so many compliments on it. It sits really, really nicely on your skin. And um, to follow up with that, my fourth most complimented scent, I would say it's the Gypsy Water by Burrito as well. But I will say I actually get more compliments on the body cream, not the body lotion, the body cream. So it comes in a jar like this. This retails for 130 um, Canadian. It's very a thick cream. You just need a tiny, tiny, a little amount. This smells so beautiful on your skin in the warmer weather months. I find when your body heats up, it just has this, again, not an overpowering scent. This is a great base layer. So if you want to layer fragrances, so my number one trick is put this Gypsy Water Body Cream on and then the Balda Afrique fragrance. And it honestly, like people will fall in love with you. I swear it is so good. Um, this also too, I find it layers beautifully with a lot of his other scents or even other brands. So if you like the Balda Afrique and you like Gypsy Water, also you might like Mojave Ghost and I actually think this one they don't make anymore, but Elevator Music, I think it was, yeah, it was an off-white collaboration with Virgil Abloh, but this one is really good too. So again, I think Gypsy Water, Balda Afrique, and Blanche are their top sellers. And if you're new to the brand, I would definitely try the Gypsy Water or Balda Afrique. And if you can find these other ones, they're amazing as well. 
but definitely I think this for it's being $130 it will last you forever a little goes a long way and then you get a lotion out of it as well as a scent I think this is actually a very good deal the first time I bought this years ago I thought oh it's pretty expensive I was shocked how long it lasted me again a little goes a long way Okay, so we have the Baccarat Rouge, the Memo Paris, the French Leather, we have the Balda Afrique and Gypsy Water, and then my fifth most complimented scent, which you'll be very relieved, it's definitely more affordable. It's $42 Canadian. You can get a roller ball that is a little bit cheaper. This used to only be 30 something, but the price must have went up. A lot of people that have asked me about this fragrance, they don't even know that this company makes a perfume. And it's very old perfume. Probably a lot of you have bought it before. I have bought this perfume since I was a teenager and without fail, I have always got compliments on it. I recently bought it again just to see if I still liked it. And I do. It's a really good perfume and it is MAC cosmetics the turquatic perfume so if any of you guys remember mac used to make a lot of different perfumes i only see this one on their website so it comes in three sizes so this is the medium size so there's a roller ball which i believe is like 28 dollars canadian this is 42 there's a bigger size i think it's around 70 dollars and it honestly it smells amazing um i have never got sick of this it's the perfect little size for your bag or for travel. Um, I usually keep this in my gym bag. It's great if you have a car. It, you know, I used to keep this like in a little slot in the car. It's just so beautiful. And I'll read you the description, but I don't think this does it justice because it says it's a classic sea inspired fragrance with notes of anemone, maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong, lotus, oris, and Corsican blue cedar. Um, yeah, it's crisp and energizing. I would agree with that. Crisp, energizing, and maybe, no, I was going to say beachy, but it's not. It's crisp and energizing. It's sweet. It's beautiful. If you've never tried this before, definitely check it out. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the bottle. To me, the bottle is a little bit tacky, but I don't really display this one. This is definitely one that I keep in my handbag. But again, this size is, let's see, this size is only 20 milliliters. So definitely you can travel with this. But um, just because I've wore this probably since I'm 19 on and off, um, over the years, this is definitely my most complimented just because I've worn it for that long. So definitely try this out. I feel like a lot of people would really like this if you want to give someone a gift. So those are my top five most complimented scents. I do have a lot of other perfumes that I really love, but those were my top five that I narrowed down. If you have a scent that you always get complimented on, I'm curious what it is and you can leave it down in the comments below. And definitely if you own one of these, I think you know, you might have a similar sense of style or smell to me. So maybe give some of the other ones a try. But yeah, definitely this one. This one gives you pretty good bang for your buck. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye.